But a pillar that had been missing in the U.S. debate is the ethical pillar. And I think the American, side, American people have to discuss and discuss whether we should think of healthcare as one more element of the general system of rewards or whether it is a right of people. Is it a merchandise, a privilege, or a right? You know, the Canadians debated that many years ago and decided it's a right. In Mexico, the Constitution says it's a right. But this was an, a piece that was absent, and very often you got this dialogue among deaf people because <laughs> there was not the previous uh, uh, debate as to the nature. Is access to healthcare just like any other system, any other component of the system of rewards? Just like some people drive a Rolls Royce and others go to work on a bicycle, they're both getting transportation, but it's fine. I mean, it's, there's a system of rewards, and that's reflected on the distribution of rewards in a society. Or is healthcare, like education, a condition so that every other reward, the distribution of every other reward, is considered fair? This country decided very clearly that education is a right. Many, many, many decades ago, uh, in the founding of this nation, it was established that every generation would start at the same starting line. And that's why you have public education in this country. It was clearly defined as a right. There was not, unlike every other industrialized country, a parallel discussion of the nature of healthcare. Until now, I was very uh, positively impressed to hear in the president's address to Congress a couple of weeks ago, at the end, in this very dramatic moment of his speech, when he reads out loud a letter, posthumous letter, from the late Senator Edward Kennedy, a clear statement saying, it is a right. And actually, polls show that the large majority of the American public thinks it is a right. If you agree on that, that's the ethical pillar, then you've reached agreement on the what. And then it's easier to discuss the how. But if you haven't reached agreement on the what, discussing the how, the instruments to achieve that vision, is impossible. Because you haven't really even gotten consensus on what's the nature of healthcare. Now, it is the case that, except for hypochondriacs, consuming healthcare itself does not generate satisfaction to anyone. I mean, we go to the doctor because it requires where we can work, we can study, we can learn. It is a condition, in my mind, for everything else. It's like education, and that makes it a right.